Hey, what's up, guys? If you like this content, go ahead. <laughs> Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe button. More videos for your head top. I'm the problem on all streaming services. Go check it out. <laughs> what's up, legends? What's up, Kirby? Yo, what's up, boys? What's good, dude? A couple legends from the vault in the building. We got Polo Brian. That's him. And Mr. Masherman. That's me. Hopefully. So, like, first and foremost, Polo Brian, Masherman, have a new album out, and it is called I'm the Problem. I am the Problem. Shit, boys. Still the shithead vibes, but we we wrote a story around the shithead rather than you know it's not it's not uh, it's not just it just jacking off you know what I mean. There's a lot of rap music and just be like I'm sick, I'm chaotic, I fucked you, bitch, all yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this one. This one is a little bit about like why what happens when you're the shithead. Does does that affect your life? And I'm like, of course it does. Yeah. Um, so we kind of put polo. As, a, as the character in real life situations, I think. Dude, it's hell of a ride. Hell, it's, hell of a ride. It's so dope. How many tracks are on this album? Six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We like, we like getting in and out. Um, our last project, Bad Neighbor, which you have some, pro, some production on. Yeah. Um, uh, Bad Neighbor was seven tracks and like 13 minutes. We like being in and out. We, uh, we're project people, but... Boy, do I love like a ninety-second song. Yeah. <laughs> I love a love a two-minute song. Um, love a twelve-minute record. I don't know. It's still it's still for the, it's some quick, <clears throat> short attention span music. But we fit a lot in there. At this point, too, it's just so fucking tough. It's like, what's the point of putting together a thirty-minute plus seven-track project? You know, it's still it's still up and up and up and up. You know, you don't want to drop something that you literally spent a year on trying to cram in a full length and then it's just like oh, okay well we probably could have split this up into three right. parts you just pray and people listen to the last track right you know it's like we can we can hold your attention for for 15 minutes for sure Yo. so it starts out with dream track one and an intro from Danique, which i just found out shout out my boo and she she just gets the album started off proper of of like, first of all, like getting a call back from Polo is fucking near impossible. So it's like, it's like, it just fits so well. But so like that track, or which track did you start with on the album? Was that it? That's a good question. That is a good question. I don't even know if we know that, to be honest. I think, I think Nomo might, I think have, been Nomo might have been the second track, the, the lead single. That might have been the first one. Dream was also relatively early as well. Totally. Because we just made that and it was one of those times where you make, six hooks in a night and don't really make a full song yeah and we just that was one of them and dream was always an intro to us i do remember yeah. that i remember we were just like oh yeah this is intense it sets a scene um so far if you go back to our last two projects the first track has always been sort of this serious moment almost just to show people that that polo can do that um because people love this like chaotic rowdy polo so every now and then we like being like hey he can like rap with technical ability he can speak his mind he can be emotional like we like setting that and then usually track two we go okay now we're gonna go fucking just be obnoxious yeah uh yeah um i uh dr I dream with the danique intro who killed it i loved doing that um with our process of music i've always had this attitude where i feel like there are these rap tropes that we deserve to do at least once so we had this one off single bowflex which is like your anth your horns your brass anthem and like you need the voice message intro on a project yeah, right? yeah that's the one we hadn't so done that yet <laughs> we yeah we we deserve it so like check we got the we got the voicemail intro we we yeah. deserve we we're trying to get one of every rap trope the basketball references are always there for sure, and yeah. I don't even uh, like. I just I don't even use them literally most of the time. I just use them to be connective tissue to whatever fucked up bar I'm trying to connect. Because yeah. I mean, if you like sports, you can be like, I'll just throw a sports name right here, and that'll somehow make it make sense, right? 
Yeah, and then like classics too, like Joe Dirt. Such a good little Joe shout Dirt. Out. Yeah, that one. That one's hilarious. It really only just means a haircut. Very vague. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, like it doesn't even really make sense how it comes together. Beating Lance Stevenson on and on, just just goofing off, eternally. Like if you jump all the way to the end of this album, there's this like vocal sample on that last track, and it's the coolest thing ever. Especially like at the very end of the last track, the very end of Coconut Bun. Well, yeah. the, uh, there is. A, I, is it the there's kind of like, like yeah? There's like a gro. So in Coconut Bun, there's like a groany, a groany voice in the beat. It's like pitched down a bit. Uh, that yeah, th- that's that sort of thing. That was built into my sample. Um, I wish I could tell you what song I sampled. Sometimes I know what songs I sample, and sometimes. Um, I just go on really weird internet rabbit holes and I look up weird words and I just like see what I can find. I'm just looking for game. sounds. He'll be sitting there and he's like, give me a word, like pineapple. Well, yeah, and I'll put pineapple. Sample, like animal was all animal samples. Oh my God. So sick, that, right? was another, that was another trope type of trope. Yeah, that yeah. yeah dude, I found, I know that this is two projects ago, but yeah, I found this one guy who was on Looperman. Shout out Looperman, indispensable Absolutely. resource. Um, there's this one guy on Looperman where the only thing he uploaded were like 16 bits of him attempting to do animal noises. And I made an entire beat out of them. It was amazing. <laughs> Shout out that guy. That guy's got an interesting life, I'm sure. Like we were talking about coconut bun off camera there. It's literally landlord egg tart coconut bun. It was about when I was broke and just living off of scraps and living off of coconut buns and egg tarts from my landlord who would show up all the fucking time. Shout out to him too. <laughs> Shout out to Bosco if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's friends with cops though, so I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, there's just it's I don't even know how to explain it. That's why like this guy's so helpful to me sometimes cuz it's just sometimes it's just a whirlwind of shit that comes out. I and we find of... ourselves like finding purpose to things after mm-hmm. it happens. Yeah. So, for example, with that coconut bun hook, we made the hook and it sat for a while. And it was a very like concise thing that I was saying, but the time just never fell right to make a song. And it just takes one day when I walk in and I'm feeling away, I guess. And then I just sit down and don't talk to Mash for 20 minutes. And then I come out with two verses. It's like, oh, okay, wow, this, this is a real song now. So it's just, and it's just sometimes just falls right in your fucking lap. If you think about it too much, you can jam the gears up, you know? Hey, what it do? Poe Beasy. Let's get this. Landlord, egg tart, coconut bun. I had no fun, no funds. Living off crumbs. I had a roof, so I wasn't a bum. Technically. Cell phone blowing up, late night drunk. I thought my circle had shrunk. Army of one. Turns out I wasn't alone. Late night cell phone stay blown up. Blown up, she want hugs. Lure me with gin and bombs. Shower me with that fake love. Cause I got money, but I just spent it. I got funnies. If you wanna listen, give me snuggles. Yo, intuition. No that I'm different. No that I'm dipping. No that I got a ghostly list of my traumas that I just made up to get the pussy. To my stitches Living above this family They complaining cause the weed hitting I am the man in my own life, bitch I got no friends, can I spend the night quick? We can hold hands, she's like Dyson Hop in the van, I wanna go fight Cause I wanna fight I wanna fight Can I spend the night? Cause I wanna fight Landlord, egg tart, coconut bun I had no fun, no funds Living off crumbs I had a roof so I wasn't a bum Cell phone blown up, late night drunk my circle has shrunk. I'm your one. Turns out I wasn't alone. Yeah. Landlord, hey, tart, coconut buns. I had no fun, no fun. Living off dreams. I had a roof, so I wasn't a bum. Yeah. Cell phone blown up, late night drunk. I thought my circle had shrunk. I'm your one. Turns out I wasn't alone. Technically, I was okay when I said that I wasn't, but you had the urge to come check on me. I think I heard of these rappers, but little I know they be creeping and checking me. I played a show when the crowd wasn't dancing I think that little kid wasn't fucking with me I had something to prove the way I was moving It wasn't sustainable
but honestly I swear the devil he was calling me I could have swear your name was Stephanie I could have swear your name was Stephanie Melanie, Melanie, ah Fuck it, you Stephanie Landlord, egg tart, coconut buns I had no fun, no funds Living off crumbs I had a room so I wasn't a bum Cell phone blowing up, late night drunk I thought my circle had shrunk Army of one, turns out I wasn't alone I'm the problem is an aggressive way to uh, to uh, do to accept something in a pretty healthy way like you could externalize your problem and be like that person's the problem right like it's oh it's this and that's why all of these problems exist in my life but being like I'm probably the source of most of the things that are going wrong in my life and I have the power to fix them is I uh, is a woke take and I I think that that's a perfect way to uh, be able to like paint paint this paint a bad you know your anti-hero right yeah. mm. i feel like i feel like paul o'brien um is is an anti-hero of sorts yeah I, I can agree with that right so on a track like nomo i guess you if you wanted to you could picture him talking to me all right Talking to his his friend, talking to his producers, being like, "I don't feel human no more." This bullshit feels like like it's a very it is a confessional, as light and fun of a song as it is. It's definitely a confessional. He also <laughs> Easter egg. Um, he recorded. We had one verse recorded, and Polo knew that he needed to write write and record the second verse on acid after the beach on a summer day. <laughs> Some dumb shit that I did last night, can't remember One head full of acid, go hard, no plastic together Bitch And, and this he, was m months before, maybe even a year before it happened We had the first verse in the song forever, didn't have the second verse And I, yeah, I was like, I need, it needs to be after a long day at the beach I need to come here and I need to get the second verse down So yeah, one day I was at the beach with some friends and me And uh, my homie Taylor Garnier, we crashed his house After doing some psychedelics at the beach and then I just kind of freestyled the whole second verse, and it was perfect. It was, it was exactly, it was like, exactly what yeah. I needed. Yeah, it was exactly it was right. what it needed. I we, didn't. The, the song needed it. The the narrative of this album, I think we just discovered the narrative of this album when it was done. Um, I, I I remember sitting Polo down, and I'm like, "Here's the story we just wrote," yeah, as that's I true. interpret it. As I interpreted it. I was like, yeah, you're right. Um, and if you're going to listen to the project, or you have, it's like, yeah, you take a rapper, you take, you take, uh, you take someone who makes, who who's kind of flails sometimes, who is, might be selfish sometimes. You know, a lot of the things that rappers rap about the desire, the desire to get it popping. You need to be selfless. Uh, the drug culture, stuff like that. And like, what happens when you live that life? So. You're dropping call. You're dropping calls from your girl, and you're kind of like having an existential crisis, and you're embracing the fact that you're a problem and making more mistakes, and you're putting cocaine in a slap chop, and you're <laughs> tossing relationships out the window, and like it's it's all it it, it it's it, we didn't sit down and go like let's write an album that tells this story, um, but I do Bro, think how that, much of a piece of shit I am. Yeah, but that's a, I, let's do that. That that yeah right. But I think it ended up being being a very nuanced take on what um, on what happens when you live when you live a rapper's life. Yo. Who wears Value Village clothes? Mm. You take a dive through the Google Drive. Holy shit! There's a lot of shit that we've done that like might not ever see the light of day. But I send them to Mash probably biannually. I'm like, oh, look at these. These are cool. Some bite size. Like I said, we keep our projects really really tidy we don't need too much of your attention you can spin it twice and it's still shorter than a lot of albums out there but it feels like an album i'm, I'm pre we we pull that off a lot 2022 the year of the brian yes after this we're gonna we're gonna try and be more consistent with the the drops the singles content in general it's almost uh as painful as it is for us to keep stuff inside i imagine it's painful for listeners have to wait so fucking long 
for 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally. <laughs> if you've been waiting, this 14 minutes should tide you over for a little bit and we're going to keep it coming. I hope so. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell as well so you can stay notified when we drop more content for you. Appreciate it. To wake up complicated on a day with implications that can alter different ways I'm vibrating. You wanna think twice? Well, I thought three. I'm the only one survive when they fight me. Sure, they wanna blow me champagne poppy. I'm the only one they watch when they walk in. Turn on my phone, need some peace and quiet. I'm sedated alone and my plug supplied. It's a damn shame I got no need for violence. I'm a cold man when I can sit in private. Need to go streaming and need a pilot. Polo be gone, I'm a spirit wildin'. Angels be hanging their heads. I be friend of myself. It's a problem when angels cry. I'm a problem, I'm a problem, I'm a problem I'm a problem, I'm a problem, I'm a problem Who's? Yours He's a problem Who? He's a problem Oh yeah Who's a problem? Who's a problem? Alright Live in room, live with a groove at I'm in tune with the booze, walk around with the ass I need two to be true, no my boot hate that I'm kung fu, toward a line that can do me a back So many dreams I woke up from a slap with I need me in a leaf cause my brain is half split Need to compete but my ops is average I can hit it up with anyone who's mad Hey, what's up, guys? If you like this content, go ahead. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe button. More videos for your head top. Uh, <laughs> more videos for your head top. Yo, just better than in marquee when it's shut down. I'm the problem on all streaming services. Go check it out. Pull around. Love you. Get it. Besos.